It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. On V103. Time for the 411 and all your favorite folks. This be the Trending Topics on V103. So, updates galore. Uh, TMZ obtained a 911 call for Kanye West. Once the dispatch got the rundown on his condition, you can hear the operator say, don't let him get any weapons or anything like that. Kanye's personal physician, Dr. Michael Farzal, placed the call November 21st while Kanye was at his trainer's home in L.A. Meanwhile, I told you yesterday, he was released, right? Apparently, um, he was released but did not go home. This charge from the hospital, apparently... His doctors rented a home for Kanye's quote-unquote outpatient treatment. He'll be under intense around-the-clock care for another week. A source revealed, quote, both Kim and his doctors thought it was best for him to stay at an alternate location. His doctors wanted him to be focused solely on his recovery. Kim wanted to shield the kids from finding out anything was wrong with their dad. Kanye's big test will come Monday, December 5th, Saint's first birthday. Will he be celebrating with the family or not? This all comes out as uh, another source has uh, apparently told U.S. Weekly the the marriage may be strained. A source Kim was dealing with issues from the Paris robbery and may have wanted to quote unquote take a break before West hospitalization. Kanye since been released. All future concerts on hold. Keep that man in your prayers. In the meantime, in between time, yesterday I told you the homie J. Cole was releasing a new album next Friday, a week from today. But last night it leaked out on title as a 39 minute, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's kind of a documentary. You kind of see his behind the scenes process, his creative process, and his two videos and two songs. One song, which I'm about to play for you right now, seems like he's really talking about Kanye. Let's listen. Life is a balance. You lose your grip, you can slip into an abyss. No doubt, you see these tripping. Ego in charge of every move, he's a star. And we can't look away due to the days that he caught our hearts. He's falling apart, but we deny it. Justifying a half he dropped, we always buy it. When he tell us he a genius, but it's clearer lately. It's been hard for him to look into the mirror lately. There was a time when this was my hero, maybe. That's the reason why his fall from grace is hard to take. Cause I believed him when he said his was pure, ain't he? The type of where he real, but all around us fake. The women, the is right as you know, the yes men. Nobody with the to say something to contest them. So he grows out of control. Until the person that he truly was all along is starting to show. Damn, wonder what happened. Maybe it's my fault for idolizing based off the words they be rapping. When come to find out, these don't even write. They hit some new style bubbling up, then they bite. Damn, that's what I get for lying to myself. Well, what's more important is he's crying out for help. While the world's egging him on, I'm begging him to stop it. Playing his old shit, knowing he won't top it. False prophets. Wow, J. Cole. I'll play the whole song for you later around 425 if you want to hear the whole song. But then again, you can see it and watch it online if you have a subscription to title. But the album, December 9th, for your eyes only. I wonder if he wrote all of that and did all of that previous, you know what I'm saying? Like before this happened. This, I mean, wow. But in any case, you missed any part of this, head up to uh, v-103.com. More Big Ticket Show right now. 